Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today in this video we are going to discuss about the CRUD operations, basic create, read, update and delete operations in Elasticsearch. How we can perform the CRUD operation in Elasticsearch using Kibana dashboard. So in the previous video or there is a video on my channel where I have discussed about how to install the Elasticsearch and Kibana using Docker. So you can watch that video and install it on your local system or else you can directly go to the Elasticsearch site and from there you can download the Elasticsearch zip version and the Kibana zip version and then unzip it and install it how the other software are installed and then start using them. So I already have installed both of the softwares on my local using Docker. So let me try to go to the Docker desktop. I already have Docker desktop up and running and in one container this Elasticsearch and the Kibana is also running. You can see the default port for the Elasticsearch is 9200 and for Kibana it is 5601. So now let me try to go to the browser and try to uh, access the Elasticsearch and Kibana locally. So Elasticsearch is up on the port number 9200 and you can see the Elasticsearch is up and now if you will try to hit the Kibana uh, you have to go to the port number 5601 okay so yeah it is also loading you can see the Kibana is also loaded so both of them are up and running now I will try to tell you to perform the CRUD operation in Elasticsearch using Kibana dashboard so here in the Kibana you can see uh, this leftmost button if you click on it you can uh, go down and if you go to the management you will find this dev tool you have to open it and here comes the dev tool console where you can in the left side you can write your queries and in the right side you can get the result okay so here what I'm going to do I'm just going to tell you about the basic CRUD operations that uh, you can perform in the Elasticsearch using Kibana dashboard so these are the things I already have let me try to remove it so first of all uh, how we try to create the table in the SQL database or relational database similarly here in the Elasticsearch we need to create the index okay so how we can create the index so to create an index you need to have a command called put so let me try to create the index first so you need to run this command put and then index name so let's say the index name is product okay so if you will run this you have to select this query and you have to run it so you can see this in the left in the right side you can see the response and uh, you can see the acknowledge is true and index name is product so your index is being created now we have created the index and the index is same as the table in the relational databases so after creating the table what we'll do we'll try to insert couple of records there right similarly here in the elastic search once we create the index we'll try to insert couple of document inside it so how we can do that okay so let's say we have created the index product and uh, we want to insert uh, a document and the document contains the id and its value name of the product and its value and uh, let's say the quantity of product and the price of the product and its values so document is nothing like it is a json and there we'll try to keep the attributes and its value okay so let me try to insert a document inside the index product so for that uh, we need to run this command post product and then we need to uh, create a document okay so underscore doc and let's say yeah uh, let me try to put the values here so let's say id or you can say product id product id and let's say the id is one and uh, name let's say mobile and let's say quantity and the quantity is one and the price okay so let me try to Put the price here and the price is let's say 20,000 okay so we have created this document and we are going to insert that document in, sir, inside the 
uh, index product so you have to run this so once you will run it you can see uh, the result is created that means this document is created and it is inside the index product now how you can find it out okay so you can find it out using the uh, command called get okay so before going to find out that particular document let me try to uh, put a document id okay so how you can put the document id so here you can see we have uh, created this document now if you want to put the document id for this particular document which contains these values like product id is one and mobile quantity is one and price is twenty thousand so here for this document i just want to put this document as document id as one okay so let me try to do that so you need to run the put command here and then you have to provide the id after the document now let me try to run this and here we go the id is one okay now uh, let me try to get out this document okay or let me try to fetch out this document so how you can do that so you have to run the command get your index name product and then you have to fetch out the document and then its id okay now if you run it you will find the document here you can see index is product document type is document id is one and here you find in the source you find the details of that particular document what value is contains right so these are the uh, methods or these are the queries using which you can create your index you can insert a document and you can also number a particular document and then you can find out the particular document okay now coming to update and delete how we can perform the update and delete on the particular document so let me try to show you that so for update you have to use the put command and let's say uh, you want to update the document or uh, let me try to insert couple of more document inside this index okay so let's say the document id is 2 and the product id is also 2 and let's say this time the product name is laptop and quantity is 1 and let's say the price is 60000 now let me try to insert it so if you enter you can see this and here you can also find out the particular product a particular document you can see right so we have inserted two document inside the index product and we can also find it out as well right so let me try to remove it and then run it then see okay this is not allowed and if you'll try to remove the document out of this index and if you'll try to uh, get it let me try to see what is coming you can see this right it is uh, trying to show you the properties and its values like the price is of type long product id is of type long quantity is of type long and the name is of text type you can see this and yeah these are the uh, definition of your particular index and what values it contains and uh, yeah this is how you can uh, find out the details of particular index and if you want to fetch out the particular document inside the index you have to provide the id for that so if you we'll search the document 2 you can see the document 2 result are here in the right side so these are the things now let me try to update the document 2 and let me try to update the price to 70,000 of the laptop. So how you can do that? So you have to uh, run the command put. You have to provide the index and then the document and then document ID. And you have to again put this whole thing and you have to, what you have to do? You have to uh, rewrite your particular column or particular properties, what you want to change. So let's say I want to change the price to 70,000 so you have to rewrite it and then you have to run this command so this is updated you can see the result is updated and if you try to search out or fetch out the particular document where you have uh, uh, performed the updation you can see the price of the laptop is updated to 70,000 
earlier it was 60,000. So update is also working. Now let me try to uh, tell you how to delete a particular document. So this is it is also simple. You have to run the delete. You have to provide the index name and then you have to provide the document and then you have to provide the particular document ID which you want to delete. So you can see the result is deleted and if you want to try if you want to like find out the particular document which you have deleted uh, you can run this get command and you can see found is false that means your document is deleted from the index so this is how you can perform the basic crud operation in the elastic search using kibana dashboard so this is about the video guys if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks